Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunerie Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunerie Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Learn more at labrunery.com or by calling 573-449-5313. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, February the 8th. If you like chili, listen close because we're going to tell you about the rootin' tootin' chili cook-off right it is chilly weather (laughs) right valerie livingston is with us from the boys and girls club columbia good to have you here valerie thank you paul before we get into the uh the rootin tootin chili cook-off tell me about the boys and girls club absolutely the boys and girls club serves kids after school from 3 p.m to 7 p.m five days a week and during the summertime from 8 a.m to 5 p.m monday through friday all summer long last year we served over 1200 kids 1200 kids yes and so this year we have high hopes to hit 1500 100. Um, but as a nonprofit, we do have to go out and raise all of our funds to be right. able to serve these children. Right. That's what I was going to ask you. So the next thing is this chili cook-off. Is this one of your biggest fundraisers? This is our primary fundraiser. This is our 13th annual Root and Tootin' Chili Cook-Off sponsored yeah. by MFA Oil. Um, and we'll have a couple thousand people come and taste test all of the chilies. There'll be over 50 chili teams. So it's all of the chili and cold beverages that you can possibly intake in one day. But you vote on which chili you like the best. Wait a minute. You, you're telling me you can come and you can eat as much chili as you want, taste as much chili as you want? Bring your Rolades and bring your Tums <laughs> and everything so you need. So there, there is no limit to the There's amount no of chili you limit. can eat. There's no limit. But it is a fun family atmosphere. These chili teams um, decorate their booths with different themes, and they're very interactive with all of the attendees. And there's different award categories for who has the best decorations, who raises the most money, who has the ba- the best chili. So it's just a really great, uh, fun atmosphere. So I who thought. does the voting? The people who are tasting the chili? Yes. Yes. Okay. We have an attendee, a people's choice is what we call that. And you vote with tokens on which chilies you like. And there are white chili. Chilies, um, brown chilies, chilies without beans. You know, in Texas, they say real chili doesn't have beans. Oh. So, uh, you know, everybody thinks they have the very best chili recipe. Mm. So, so here's your opportunity to come out and put it to the test. Now, how are people going to taste 50 different chilies? <laughs> you know, I think we need to make that an award category, too. <laughs> if, if you, you can taste possibly t- taste all 50, 50 you can win chilies. something. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't imagine the aroma. So where is it going to be? It is held at the Holiday Inn Expo Center on February 17th, which is a Saturday. Yeah. And you can buy your tickets online or at the door, but the tickets are sold at rtchilicookoff.com. Uh-huh. Or you can call the club at 874-1697 and purchase your tickets there. And how much are tickets? Um, $15. Now, if somebody wants to be be a team, if they do, you still have room for yes, teams. Yes, we do. We do still have room for teams. So it's one hundred and fifty dollars to put in a team, and you can have up to six people on your team. On your team, and you have to come in and prepare your chili right there um, during oh, the day. Oh, you can't bring it in no, ahead you of time. Can't bring it. This is a real chili competition. So you mean there's enough? There's enough. Uh, stoves to cook it all on? Yes. You, you bring have, all your pots you and bring, pans? Yep, all your burners. And you have to make six to eight gallons of chili oh because gosh. there's a lot of people eating <laughs> so, chili that day. So <laughs> that when you make this chili, you got to buy all your own ingredients yes, too. Yes. But remember, this is all going to 100% raise money. 100% of it. Yeah, for the Boys and Girls Club. Yes. All right. Thank you, Valerie. The date is February 17th. Seven, February 17th. When to when? Uh, four to eight. Four to eight, all the chili you can eat. And if you want more information on this, the telephone number to call is 874 1697. That's the phone number for the Boys and Girls Club. You can call that to buy your chili tickets. Or if you want to make a donation to the Boys and Girls Club, or if you just want more information, or if you want to help out with the Boys and Girls Club, 874 1679 is the number to call. Okay? Chili, lots of chili that day. Now, Jen Davis is with us from Missouri River Relief. Good to have you here, Jen Davis. Hi, Paul. Good to be here. Thank you. Uh, Oh, it's our pleasure. So we go from talking about chili to the wild... 
What? The Wild and Scenic Film Festival. It's another way to warm up in February. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll, what? What is the Wild and the Wild and the Wild and Scenic Film Festival, Scenic Festival. on okay. Sunday, February 11th, is an annual fundraiser for Missouri River Relief. It helps to support our programs, education, stewardship, and cleaning up the big muddy the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. And we expect to have about 400 people come to the Blue Note that Sunday afternoon and see a diverse array of films from around the globe that feature environmental movements and um, citizen actions as well as just plain old fun adventure out in nature. Are these professionally made films? Yes, they are. The Wild and Scenic Film Festival is actually based in Nevada City, City, California. And we are one of 50 cities around the country that features uh, films that we choose. From their lineup of four days of film, we compress uh, a lineup that we like in an afternoon and bring that to our Columbia community. So how do you decide? We have a committee. (laughs) (laughs) And we watch all of them. You watch all four? 400 films? Well, I don't know if there are 400, but there are four days worth at the National Film Festival, so we choose you watch every oh, one of about them? 12 of them, I think. Yes, and we're doing something really special this year. We have a batch of really amazing local films, including one that's 23 minutes, which is our longest film of the day, so that's a good reminder to folks. These are mostly short and medium films, but getting back to that, um, our own Carl Gerhardt made a film about Eagle Bluff's conservation area, and the citizen movement in uh, the early 90s in Columbia, Missouri, that transformed a project that would have um, led to wastewater, treated wastewater being dumped right into the Missouri River. Mm -hmm. Rather than that, um, based on the bipartisan effort of a lot of folks, uh, interested parties, um, we now have this amazing wetland system uh, that is Eagle Bluff's conservation area. So that that is the story of how that happened and how people came together. That's how it came about. Yeah, that's right. And so this film features that story, and um, you can come in and see that among other films from around the world that uh, sh- highlight how people are making differences in their own backyards and in their own communities in big ways, environmentally and socially and economically. So that's oh, sort of the yeah. spirit of the Wild and Scenic yeah, Film Festival. Yeah. So, and it's also a fundraiser. It is a fundraiser. It's one of our biggest fundraisers of the year, our uh, eighth annual uh, big winter film uh, fundraiser. Uh, we really rely on people coming out and supporting us. And also, uh, in addition to buying a ticket, which proceeds of which will go to Missouri River Relief, we'll have a really fun um, silent auction and bake sale with fresh coffee oh, and fresh everything. popcorn. We've got it all. So, so when is your, what's come your hungry as well. It's February 11th, which is a Sunday. Okay, that's before the chili cook-off. Yeah, that's right. So you can you can fill up that day and warm up. <laughs> we got all kinds of food that you're going. So that's yours right. is February the 11th. February is... 11th, yes. From 2 to 5 in the afternoon, the doors open at 1. It might be a good idea to come early and get a good seat and kind of check out what yeah. we have going on other than and the And that's films. going to be at the Blue Note. That's going to be at the Blue and, Note. And for more information, what do they do? Go to riverrelief.org. Riverrelief.org. You can purchase tickets there, and you can also go to the Alpine Shop in downtown town columbia to purchase your tickets ahead of time or at the blue note the day of the event okay. as long as they last that is john davis <laughs> thank you so much for coming by well thank you paul pleasure having you here thanks uh once again when are you gonna come back and sing for us oh i'd love to anytime <laughs> thank you All so right. much we'll see you next time bye-bye